I'm going to demonstrate how to build a basic um, shooting gallery. We're going to have a player, which is just going to be a capsule. He'll move back and forth based on arrow keys. It'll shoot a projectile, and then I'll also show you how to make um, targets generated by your programming versus having to place them yourself. So first of all, let's make a player. I'm going to go ahead and go to Create 3D Object Capsule. And so I've got my player here. And notice right now it, it, it uh, starts us out in kind of a, an odd direction. So right now this is the X axis. This is the Z axis. Let me, um, actually also it's not in the 0, 0, 0 position. Let's go up here into the inspector and reset to get it back to the 0, just so that we have an idea of where, where we're working when we're building things with coordinates. Um, I'm going to check this too. So Z, actually this would be moving away from us if we're doing a shooting type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and change the view um, to, uh, um, so we can have it, have it uh, look in a way. And I have to say sometimes moving the camera around or trying to make the, um, the scene works better for me than moving the camera. I have a little issue with that sometimes. Um, like if we look at the game preview, it looks almost the same because it's just a capsule. There's no identifiable things at this point. Um, and let's put this back to the zero, zero, zero there. Okay, so now if I look at my, my guy, this is the X and that should be positive and negative. Okay, that would be fine. And um, the Z would be back and forth. And I think that this view would probably be okay, except I think I'm gonna move um, this player a little, um, no, actually I think this will be, this will be okay. We'll just kind of stick with that, but maybe I want to um, view it so I have a little bit of an, a higher view up. Okay, so now if I want my game scene to match this, I think the easiest way is to get things set up in your scene how you want it, select your main camera, and then if you go up to, um, uh, let's see, game object, what we can do is say align with view. And what it's going to do is take the camera and align it with what the, we have the view in the scene. So now if you look, the game view is very similar to scene. I think that's the easiest way to manage it, or at least that's how I found it. All right. So now I've got my capsule. Let's first of all, get it to move back and forth using the arrow keys. So we will need a script. Um, so I'm going to go down here in Assets. I'm going to say Create C Sharp Script. And oftentimes if you're creating something, um, controlling a player or something, you could name it something like Player Controller. So I'm going to go ahead and name that. Player Controller. And I'm going to open that up in Visual Studio here. Okay, there we go. So we've got this set up. And what we're going to do is put, um, we actually don't need start for this in this case. I'm just going to be putting it in the update it's because it's going to be checking each frame to see what it needs to do. All right. So, um, I am going to, um, create a variable that's going to pick the horizontal movement, the X movement of my player based on the input from the keys. So I'm going to, it's going to be of type float X and we're going to use input dot get, get access. And we're going to be getting the horizontal axis and I'll show you where the input is controlled, where that's coming from in a minute. I go time dot delta time dot three, let's say. Okay, so the time dot delta time is going to allow this to be a more smooth type movement. And um, this is really going to change how fast um, I can move the guy back and forth. So I can adjust this number here depending on how fast I want it to move. Um, I'll show you where this is coming from. Actually, um, I'll, I'll enter the rest of it and I'll, I'll show you where that's coming from in a minute. 
So that's not moving it at all yet, but if I do transform that translate, and then I give it the the uh, three um, the vector three that I translation. So x is the x um, information, and then zero zero because I'm not moving it in the y or z um, axes. Okay, so this will um, get the input from the horizontal um, movement, and it'll translate it to that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that script. Now what I'm going to want to do is assign this script to this player capsule. And right now it's pretty plain looking. I'll just leave it like that, but um, we'll just see if it moves. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and drag it to the capsule object and hit play and see if it um, works. So now I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard back and forth and it moves back and forth. All right, so let's make our uh, player look a little more interesting. I'm gonna make a, a material, and to do that, I'm gonna right click down here and say create material, and I can name it anything. I'm calling it player color. And then if you look over in the inspector, I can change the albedo to whatever color I'd like, and I'm just gonna stick with the basic. Um, color. So how about I'll make the player, um, how about he'll be, he'll be green. That would be fine. No, actually, I think I'm going to make him blue. I'll make the ground green when I get to that. Okay. And so what I do is I just grab that material and also drag it to the capsule. And now I have a blue player. So when I hit play, um, it just, it just looks a little bit better, even though it is just a capsule. So now let's add on shooting a projectile. Now what I need to do is create a projectile to shoot. And to do that, and it's going to be instantiated by um, Unity. So to do that, let's go ahead and just create um, a sphere. So it'll be a little pellet. And um, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check the size of this. So the capsule is of scale one. We've got also the, the sphere. I, I fear that it's gonna be a little large, but um, I think it maybe it'll be okay. Let me go to reset here and see what it actually looks like. So no, it's about the same size as the, as the uh, capsule. So what I'm gonna do, and actually just move, let's move that thing um, off of here so we can look at it. Let's make it a smaller projectile. So I'm gonna go over here to the scale. Let's um, just do, I'm gonna go ahead and do 0.5 for each of these, and that would be an okay projectile size, I think. Okay, so I've got my sphere, and then um, I need to make this into a, um, a prefab so that it um, could be instantiated. Before I do that, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it a rigid body. Now, rigid bodies allow um, uh, physics to be applied to them. So notice when I hit play before, let me just hit play without making it a rigid body. Notice these just hover, there's no gravity, everything's just kind of as is. Now if I add, I've got my sphere, I'm gonna add component, and I can just start typing rigid, uh, rigid body, I'm gonna choose rigid body here. Now because it has a rigid body component, it will then be affected by gravity. So when I hit play, that sphere is now going to drop. Okay, so that's fine. Now, um, I can also go ahead and make, a, uh, let's make a material for that. And I'll call it um, um, I'm just calling it bullet color. And um, how about I'll make that Let's see what color would be good. How about um, how about a yellow? That'd be fine, All right? And I can go ahead and assign it. All right, and then I want this sphere to be a prefab so that it can be created in um, Unity just by instantiating it. So what I'm going to do is I take that sphere and I drag it down into the assets panel. And just by doing that now, this is a prefab. 
Notice that it says sphere and it's in blue. That indicates that is it is um, a prefab there. And I can actually delete it and I really actually want to delete it from the main scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete, but the sphere still exists in assets. Okay, so now I, before I continue, I wanna show you where these controls are coming from. If you remember with the uh, code here, I had it saying input got get access horizontal. So where is that set? What is the the horizontal input? So if I go to Unity and I go under Edit Project Settings, it will then bring up a Project Settings panel. And notice under Input, which I just happen to have highlighted immediately, there is an Axes section. And if I expand that, it shows the details of each. So horizontal, if you notice, um, it has the left and right arrows assigned, and also um, you could use A and D. Okay, now we're gonna be using a fire key to um, launch our projectile, and we're gonna be using the default fire one, and let's see what that is. So notice that is the left control. So if you wanted to change any of the settings, you would do that here, but we would then refer to it as fire one or horizontal, and then it would know that these are the controls for those. All right, so let's go over into the code and um, add some so that it will shoot a projectile. All right, so now I still want my player movement. I'm just gonna group these together. I'm gonna push that down. Okay, got the player movement left and right. And let's put in the, um, let's create the projectile. So it's the projectile creation and launch. Okay, so if control is pressed, it'll launch a projectile. So what we're gonna do is check to see if that was pressed. And by doing that, we just use an if statement, and we're gonna see if input dot get button down. So it's check, just checking for that. And what I wanna do is indicate what button I'm looking for. And if you uh, recall, I said we're gonna be using fire one. Okay, so that's on the axes. And what I wanna do is um, if they push fire one, and it's gonna be checking every frame, I want it to launch a projectile. Okay. All right, so to do that, I am going to instantiate a projectile at the position and rotation of whatever this, uh, um, script is attached to, and in this case, the player. So, and I'm gonna call it clone. We're just gonna be making a, a clone object there. Okay. And I got a little ahead of myself. Now, I'm saying that I want to instantiate a projectile. Now, I didn't say what the projectile is yet, so I need to put a way that I can connect Unity to the script to say, hey, what, I, what do I want to shoot? So in the class, but not in update, I'm going to define what that projectile is. So I'm going to say public so that I can access it through the inspector. Okay, and so projectile is what I'm calling it. I could call it bullet, I could call it thing, it doesn't matter. However, rigid body is required because that's the type of object that I'm going to be assigning to this. So it's going to, we're gonna connect the projectile. If somebody pushes the control button, we're going to instantiate um, one of those projectiles. And it's going to be assigned to um, this, this object called clone, just so we can control it differently. So we're instantiating the projectile at the transforms position and transforms rotation. And what it's talking about, the transform it's referring to is the player that we've assigned this to. So now what I need to do is add some velocity to it. Otherwise this ball, this uh, projectile is really just gonna drop. So let's add some velocity.
All right, so now we've added um, the clone's velocity is going to be um, in the direction of forward, and it's this is what's going to control how fast it's going to do go. Okay, and when it's saying transform, that's once again referring to the player, and it's checking the forward position of the player. Otherwise, forward is very subjective. So if I had a way to move this this player around in all kinds of different ways, it would always be shot out of the front of the player. Okay, so what I should be able to do now is, let's see, I think that's the things that I want. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go over to Unity. And if you look on the capsule, which is the player, now I click on this. If we go over into the inspector, notice now on the script it has a place for projectile. So I need to assign a rigid body what it should shoot, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So in that case, I want the sphere, and I am, pardon me, it's kind of weird, I have to click on capsule. I'm gonna click and drag the sphere over to that empty spot. So now the projectile in the script is connecting with the sphere. Let's go ahead and hit play. And if I hit control, notice it shoots a projectile. And that's just gonna go on forever. I'll tell you how to get rid of that in a little bit. Now what I should be able to do is move the guy back and forth and notice the um, projectile goes along with it. All right. Now, if I run this, and I think right now on game I have maximize on play, let me not do that and hit play. Okay. When I hit control, notice over in my hierarchy, every time I make a sphere, it never disappears. So if you can imagine. In a game, you'd have like a million bullets and they never get cleared out. So it would eventually bog down memory-wise. So we want to have that disappear at some point. And you can do that easily by destroying the game object after a certain amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here too. I'm going to say destroy Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm saying, I want to destroy the game object after one and a half seconds. So now if I hit play, let me save this. I can hit play. Now let's watch over here. When I hit control, the sphere disappears eventually. So if I hit a few and after a second and a half, then they are, are cleared out.